Greetings, beautiful souls. As always, we are thrilled to have you here on our channel. Our mission is to delve into the profound lessons the Bible offers and to inspire, motivate, and spread the love of Christ through our discussions. Today, we embark on a journey to understanding our seasons, guided by the wisdom of the sons of Issachar. So fasten your spiritual seatbelts and open your hearts and minds. Join us today as we explore what it means to know your seasons as the sons of Issachar did. Now, who were the sons of Issachar and why are they significant? This is a question that often sparks curiosity among those who delve into the biblical narrative. The sons of Issachar, as chronicled in the Bible, were a group of men renowned for their wisdom and discernment. They were part of the 12 tribes of Israel, descendants of Issachar, one of Jacob's sons. In the book of 1 Chronicles 12:32, they are described in a unique manner. It says, Of the sons of Issachar, men who understood the times with knowledge of what Israel should do, their chiefs were 200, and all their kinsmen were at their command. These words paint a picture of the sons of Issachar as men of great understanding, who not only knew what was happening in their present time, but also had the insight on what should be done. Their wisdom wasn't limited to knowing when to plant or harvest, or when to prepare for winter or summer. It extended far beyond that. They were able to discern the spiritual and societal seasons they were in. They recognized when it was a time for peace, and when it was a time for war. They knew when it was a time to stand firm, and when it was a time to retreat. They understood when it was a time for silence, and when it was a time to speak. The sons of Issachar were not prophets or seers in the traditional sense, yet they possessed a spiritual sensitivity that allowed them to understand God's timing. They recognized the signs of the times and knew how to respond appropriately. This made them invaluable to their community and their wisdom was sought after by leaders and kings. Their wisdom wasn't just about physical seasons but about discerning the spiritual and societal seasons they were in. This ability to discern seasons to understand the times is a lesson we can learn from the sons of Issachar. It's a lesson about being sensitive to God's timing, about understanding his plans and about knowing how to respond in every situation. So what does it mean to know your seasons? In the grand tapestry of life, there are patterns and rhythms that we often refer to as seasons. These seasons are not marked by the changing colors of leaves or the first bloom of spring flowers. Instead, they are phases of our lives that are characterized by specific themes and experiences. Think of it this way. In the same way that nature has four distinct seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, our lives also ebb and flow through different periods of growth, change, hardship, and rest. Let's dive a little deeper into this concept. There are times in our lives that are like spring, seasons of growth and new beginnings. These are moments when we can feel the stirrings of new ideas, new relationships, or new projects. Then there are the summer seasons, periods of change and transition. This could be the transition from student life to a working professional, or the shift from being single to married life. And of course, we can't overlook the autumn seasons, periods of hardship and challenges. These are tough times that test our faith and resilience. It could be the loss of a loved one, a difficult health diagnosis, or a financial setback. Lastly, there are the winter seasons, periods of rest and rejuvenation. These are necessary pauses that allow us to reflect, recharge, and prepare for the next season. In the Bible, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. This verse beautifully encapsulates this concept of life seasons. So, why is knowing our seasons important? It's because, just like the sons of Issachar, understanding the season we're in can help us navigate our lives with wisdom. It can help us make better decisions, prepare for future seasons, and even find peace in the midst of a storm. Just like the sons of Issachar, we too can discern our seasons and navigate them with wisdom. You might be wondering how can we discern our seasons? Well, it's less about predicting the weather and more about understanding the spiritual climate of your life. Let's start with prayer. Prayer is the cornerstone of discerning your seasons. It's like a compass, guiding you in the right direction. And it's not just about asking God for things, it's about opening a dialogue, creating a space to listen and to hear what God is telling you. It's about seeking His will, not yours. So let's make it a habit to start and end our day with prayer. Next is reading the Bible. The Bible is not just a book, it's a source of wisdom and guidance. It's like a roadmap showing us the way. It's filled with stories of people who have gone through different seasons, their struggles, their victories, their lessons. These stories can give us insights into our own seasons. 
So let's immerse ourselves in the Word of God. Let it soak into our hearts and minds, and then there's seeking godly counsel. We are not meant to journey alone. We have a community of family in Christ who can walk with us, guide us, and support us. They can provide a different perspective, share their experiences, and give us wisdom. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. So let's reach out, open up, and let godly counsel into our lives. These are practical steps we can take to discern our seasons. But remember, discerning your seasons is not about control, it's about surrender. It's about trusting in God's timing, His plan, and His purpose for your life. It's about letting go and letting God. So don't be discouraged if you're unsure about your season. It's okay, it's a journey, not a destination. And remember, discernment is a gift from God. We just need to ask for it. But what if you find yourself in a tough season? This question may have crossed your mind, especially when the winds of life blow hard and the storms seem unending. But remember, even in the darkest of nights, the stars shine the brightest. Let's take a moment to reflect on the story of Job. Here was a man who had everything, wealth, family, respect, and yet in a blink of an eye, he lost it all. His friends turned against him, his wife urged him to curse God, and he was afflicted with painful sores. Yet in the midst of his suffering, Job held on to his faith, declaring, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Through his trials, Job came to a deeper understanding of God's sovereignty and goodness. Or consider Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, falsely accused and thrown into prison. But even there, in that dark and lonely place, Joseph never lost sight of God's purpose for his life. He held on to the vision given to him in his youth, and in time, he rose to a place of power in Egypt, saving many lives during a time of great famine. These biblical figures faced incredibly tough seasons and yet, they remained steadfast, trusting in God's plan and purpose, even when they couldn't see the end of their struggles. In the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul writes, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 8.18 this is a powerful reminder for us today. Our present trials, no matter how severe, are merely temporary. They are not meaningless, for in them God is at work, refining us, shaping us, preparing us for the glory that is yet to be revealed. So my dear friends, if you find yourself in a tough season, hold on, keep the faith, trust in God's plan, for in due time, just like Job and Joseph, you will see his purpose unfold. Even in tough seasons, God is at work, refining us and preparing us for what's ahead. As we wrap up, remember that every season has a purpose. We've journeyed through understanding the wisdom of the sons of Issachar, a wisdom that allowed them to discern their times and know what they ought to do. This wisdom is available to us too. It's about recognizing the ebbs and flows of life, the summers and winters of our existence. We've delved into how to discern our seasons using scriptural examples and principles. We've seen that it's about aligning our hearts with God's, about being still and listening, about being brave enough to step out in faith when we sense the wind of the Spirit blowing. We've also offered encouragement for those tough seasons, seasons of waiting, of pain, of uncertainty. We've reminded you that even in these times God is at work. Just as the winter prepares the earth for the blossoming of spring, so do our tough seasons prepare us for times of growth, of harvest. In all seasons embrace the journey. Know that God is with you, that He loves you, that He's working all things for your good. If this message spoke to you, please share it with others. Let's spread the love and wisdom of Christ. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you these reflections. Until next time, stay blessed and keep discerning your seasons.